Hi everyone, I'm Charlie White. In today's video, I'm going to show you the two ways that you can install an anchor fixing. Now, any of you who follow my channel will know that I've done a few videos showing you how to fix a curling to plasterboard based on the experience I've got from my day job as a curtain fitter. But, the reason for today's video is, I had a comment this afternoon from One Spiders One who said, hi mate, can you show us how to do it without the anchor tool? Surely that's how they made it. Thank you One Spiders One for your comment today. It really got me thinking this did because up to now, all the videos I've done on plasterboard fixings featuring anchor fixings, I've been using the anchor setting tool. I do this because it's a much simpler way to fix your anchors than uh, just manually screwing them in. But I'm gonna answer One Spider One's comment today by showing you the two ways of doing it with the anchor tool, but also in answering his question, doing it without. Okay, so let's look at method one where we don't use a setting tool. Now, anchor fixing come in various lengths um, and these lengths relate to the thickness of the plasterboard that you're fixing into. This M5 by 52 fixing is a pretty good standard fixing for your typical 12mm plasterboard like this. If you had double thickness plasterboard you'd use one of these. You see here the collar relates to the thickness of the plasterboard because you need the umbrella to open up just behind the plasterboard. Now the reason I mention this is because you need to choose the right diameter drill bit for the anchor fixing that you've chosen. Generally speaking you'd need a 10mm drill bit for these anchor fixings but you just want to double check the packet that the fixing came in or if you haven't got the packet you can take a ruler or a tape measure like I've got here and double check the diameter of the fixing you see this fixing is a little bit wider in the middle than it is on the collar. Sort of 8mm up to um, about sort of 10. I'm only telling you this because you don't want to drill too wide a hole. And the reason for that is because the fixing is designed with these little claws on the back and when you're not using the setting tool you need these claws to anchor into the plasterboard to keep the fixing in place while you turn the screw. Uh, just to demonstrate the point here You can see that the little claw marks here appear really close to the edge of the hole that you're drilling. So you want to drill that hole as narrow as you can. So basically you don't want the drill bit to be any wider than it needs to be because you want these claws to properly dig into the plasterboard. Okay, so let's give this a go. I've got my 10 mm diameter drill bit. Drill my hole. Now, before you insert your anchor into the wall, it's very important that you put your bracket, or whatever it is that you're fixing into the wall, in between the bolt and the anchor fixing itself, because you need a turning stop between the two components, because otherwise, if you don't have that, when the bolt tightens up against the anchor, all that's gonna happen is, as you screw it in, the anchor's gonna turn in the plasterboard and you're never gonna get this open. So. I'm inserting my anchor, fixing into the plasterboard, pressing the teeth into the plasterboard itself. Now I'm going to give you a view both in front of and behind the plasterboard so that you can see what happens when we start screwing the bolt into the anchor fixing. I'm using a manual screwdriver for this because I think it gives you more feel than if you use um, a drill driver, but feel free to use an electric screwdriver if you prefer. So I've got my bracket here acting as the turning stop. I'm screwing the bolt in. And now I'm slowly, carefully turning the screw. And you can see here, actually, it's opening really easily. You know that the anchor is properly set when suddenly it becomes difficult to turn. The view from the rear shows you the anchor properly in position. The great thing about anchor fixings is should you need to, you can then remove the bolt to take the bracket off the wall to adjust the shelf, whatever it is you're fixing. If you'd use something like this toggle fixing, which is also a brilliant plasterboard fixing, 
unfortunately you can't remove the bolt because then the toggle falls back behind down the back of the plasterboard wall. So that was actually surprisingly straightforward, wasn't it? For the sake of completeness, I'm just going to show you the second way of installing ag fixings using the setting tool. So once again, 10 millimeter drill bit. We drill our hole. We insert the anchor. This time, we're not so worried about having the turning stop. All we need to do is remove the bolt just a little bit to enable us to get the setting tool into position, which I can show you here. Now what we simply do is start levering away on the setting tool. We don't need to worry about the claws on the, on the anchor in this case because we're just applying a different motion and so the claws don't need to bite. And then you see as before the anchor opens beautifully behind the plasterboard and then I simply pull this lever to release it. So there you have it, that's the tutorial complete. Setting tools are a great thing to have but they are a bit of an investment. This one cost about, I don't know, 15 pounds. Um, you can, I've seen them on eBay for about £6, but the cheaper ones tend to fail quite easily. So for everyone out there, like One Spiders One, who wants to know how to fix anchors without using the setting tool, I hope this video was helpful. But don't forget, get your turning stop in between the bolt and the fixing, because otherwise the anchor will spin around and it won't open properly behind the plasterboard. So I really hope you found this video useful. If you have liked it, please click the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here. And if you do subscribe, please don't forget to click on the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post a new video to the channel.